there are two things in this life that I'm sure of. The first is that there is never enough time. And by that, I mean time to clean my house, time to fit in activity, time for prayer, time to work, time to love my family and nurture this little daydream that I have going on. That is you, YouTube. But if those things are important to me, I have to learn to Tetris those into my life. My second certainty is that as soon as I get that stuff figured out, Life is changing, sister. And I gotta learn to do it all over again. I can't control those things, but what I can control is my attitude toward them and how I embrace and fit them into my new normal. Whether I accept those changes graciously or fight against them. <laughs> but rest assured, either way, they are happening. I had a summer absolutely full of challenges, but this school year starts a brand new chapter in our lives. My only sweet little baby starts high school. <laughs> she applied to this international baccalaureate program last spring and she was accepted. So she's now going to a campus that's about 25 minutes away with no bus. And it starts at 7.07 a.m. And let me tell you, mama and baby, we're not warning people. <laughs> so because of our school year last year and the way the middle school schedule worked, I normally rolled into the office at like 8.45 a.m. <laughs> and so when I was mapping out how to make all of this work and get more than five hours of sleep a night, I had to do some reevaluating of my priorities. One of the most difficult things for me to fit in, like always, is activity. My daughter's schedule is super full this year, and so we are doing like an off-campus PE thing together, which I'll tell you more about like after we really get into it, but I'm pretty excited about it. But I really needed something else like here in my mornings. And I really started looking into a treadmill because I really enjoy like getting my steps in. I used to make like laps around my office, but as we've expanded it, gotten more furniture, I really am not able to do a lot of that. And so I really started looking into a treadmill and right at the beginning of the school year, a company called Eurovo ended up reaching out to me to try out their walking pad. I've had this bad boy in here for about a week and so far it's good stuff. All right, so a little backstory. I was diagnosed with diabetes back in 2020. I've really worked on loving myself, improving my health, focusing on generally just being happy and healthy. And since January of 2023, I have lost 80 pounds. I still have a long way to go, but I am focusing on where I am and not concerning myself so much with where I need to go. So my focus is absolutely loving my beautiful me right here and now. Getting where I've gotten, it's really taken a lot. It's taken dietitians and doctors and medication and exercise, a meal prep service and activity. That activities looked very different over the past few years. And so I have to continually find things that fit my life where I am. One thing that I've been very bad at focusing on and that like, my doctor and my coworkers, family, <laughs> all have been harping on me on is worrying about my sleep. I'm bad at it. I don't get enough of it. I do too much and I fit too much in. And sometimes I'm just scrolling on the phone at night <laughs> instead of closing my eyes and getting some dang sleep. But since I know that I'm gonna have this little chunk of time, actually kind of a big chunk of time in the morning after I drop my daughter off at school, but before the workday really begins, I'm planning on starting my day off with a little bit of activity. And I also know that in the event that I ever get brave enough and possibly coordinated enough, I could turn this into a standing desk situation. Imagine how amazing I'll be then. I'm super uncoordinated. I don't know if that's a possibility. Like, <laughs> so I wanna take a look at what my morning's looking like right now. We're leaving the house about 6.30, typically listening to something on YouTube that both of us can appreciate. I'm dropping my little baby off. I normally get to work sometime between like 7.10 and 7.20. I put on the most amazing coffee. If you all are into whole bean coffee, I highly recommend this. They are out of the Rocky Mountains in Southwest Montana. Totally not sponsored, but let me tell you, these beans are amazing. Absolutely recommend the Guatemala Bella Carmona. Yum, 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 and it smells wonderful. And then while that's brewing, 
I get this little guy to help me start my day off with a little bit of activity because if something on my pile has to fall off, historically that activity might be the first to go. What I have here is the Eurovo Stroll One Pro treadmill. So this doubles as a walking pad, but like I said, I don't think I've got the coordination stocked up just yet. <laughs> I'll try. Um, I'm totally into keeping the arms up on this bad boy. I'm gonna show you this little like time-lapse video that I put together of the assembly. This bad boy came from Amazon and let me tell you, he is heavy, just over 70 pounds, which is a very light in treadmill terms, but heavy in like stuff you shouldn't be lifted on your own terms. So what I'm saying is you're probably gonna need a little bit of help getting it to where you want to. I haven't had any trouble like folding it up, storing it, putting it down, but there's something about that box in the beginning I needed assistance. So what I'm always looking for when I find a new piece of gym equipment is the weight limit. Conveniently, this one's literally written in the Amazon title. It tells you that it is 265 pounds and I'm at the tip top of that limit. So we are putting that limit to the test. So my sister-in-law sends me all kinds of walking pads from Amazon, especially whenever there's some kind of special deal going on. The last one that she sent me had a <laughs> weight limit of 220 pounds and that just isn't gonna work. And the conversion to a treadmill did not look stable at all. So this one's really what I think I need. Turning it on is really simple. Let me tell you, the first time that I tried, I struggled with the little magnet. I turned it on, I had all these little dashes. Turned out that I have to have the safety magnet plugged in, which is great for safety. <laughs> you can fold up the arms or fold them down. It is super, super quiet. I wanted to give you a taste of how quiet this bad boy is. So I'm down here on the ground, hanging out by the loudest part and it comes with a little remote. Check it. Yeah, he's quiet. So I'm trying to do like about a 20 minute walk in the mornings. My Apple Watch takes my weight into consideration and my heart rate. And so it tells me that I am burning significantly more than what the Eurovo is telling me and typically like to put my higher one in my Fit Foods or my, fit, my Fitness Pal, in, into my Fitness Pal. So after 20 minutes, my Eurovo told me that I had burned 45 calories and my Apple Watch told me that I had 109 active calories or 172. I like to think that I burned 100 rather than 40. <laughs> So once I got that knocked out, I'm ready to get started with my day. My coffee's made, I'm gonna wash my face and get dressed and then come to my desk and do my hair and makeup. Making time for myself and getting this activity done in the morning makes my day go by so much smoother. The first week that I woke up early and had to get my daughter to school, I came to my desk and I was literally nodding off. Giving that 20 minute walk in really just gives me some energy. And y'all, doing something like this is totally an act of self-love. Getting it knocked out in the morning allows me to focus on my family and it allows me to focus on like my passions and things at night. Like I said, my daughter and I are also doing this off-campus PE. It's through Jazzercise. We're really having a lot of fun, but getting up and making sure I have that walk done, if we don't make it to Jazzercise that day, I know that I've gotten some activity in and it takes a little bit of that guilt out. My family was on a super roll last spring of walking every night and we kind of fell out of the groove, especially whenever it got super hot this summer. And over the summer, I have thought about it every night. And so even though I'm not walking as long in the morning as we were at night, it really kind of just alleviates some of that headspace for other creative ventures. <laughs> If you're interested in the Eurovo, you can buy it on Amazon. I've got a discount code and then my link and everything are down in the description. I really appreciate Eurovo for helping my like daily Tetris get a little bit easier. All right, let's get this day started. Cause you